Do you remember when Captain America fought Iron Man in Civil War? And he said, Analyze his fight pattern. Scanning. <laughs> Countermeasures ready. Then he said, Let's kick his ass. All I can think about is, can AI really do that? Can AI really learn its opponent's fight pattern and kick his ass? Because I'm not Iron Man and I don't have a Captain America ready to fight me to protect his friend. So I have found an open source fighting game based on Mortal Kombat called MK.js. He has a guy in blue called Sub-Zero and a guy in red called Kano. For this video, Kano will be Iron Man and Sub-Zero will be Captain America. The first problem I encounter is that the game stops when one player wins. It's a normal behavior for any normal game, but AI requires many iterations for it to learn. Like human, it can't learn if it's dead. So I changed the game so it resets after one player is dead. Now how do we simulate the fight between Captain America and Iron Man? As seen in the movie, Captain America used mostly punches against Iron Man. So I programmed Captain America to approach the enemy and if he gets within a distance, he punches him in the face. This is similar to button mashing when I play a fighting game. It's an extremely effective way to win because if the opponent is pinned to the corner, he's pretty much in the coffin. Next, how do we build Iron Man's brain? Thanks to the comments made on my previous video about reinforcement learning, I've decided to use Q-Learning algorithm as Iron Man's brain. So if you're like me who never heard of Q-Learning algorithm before, you might think to yourself, what is Q-Learning? It sounds cute, but the name tells me nothing. After learning about Q-Learning, Q-Learning is simply a set of rules that the AI learns over time with rewards to act under a certain situation. It's like when you're in school, the teacher gets the kids to behave with candy and stickers. A Q stands for quality, as in the quality of the decision. For our Iron Man, the reward is the damage on opponent minus the damage on himself. Put simply, Iron Man gets rewarded for punching Captain America in the face and gets punished for getting punched in the face. Pretty straightforward, let's put on the suit and go for a few rounds. So initially I programmed Captain America to keep throwing punches when he gets close to Iron Man. After 200 rounds, Iron Man only won 2 rounds. This is because the game was designed such that when a player is taking damage, he can't attack. This proves that continuously mashing one button for a game like this will get you victories. So I changed Captain America's punching frequency. After he is within range, he will only throw high punches 50% of the time. This allows Iron Man time to learn and adapt. However, although Iron Man's wins eventually surpass Captain America, but we can only see clear separation after 1000 rounds. It's time for Iron Man to step up the game. Inside the damage reward system, I added action reward. So there are certain moves that were effective against Captain America. Moves like uppercut, spin kick, squat punch, squat kicks, and squats. So I gave Iron Man extra points when he decided to perform those actions. So I accidentally gave him too much extra points for squatting. So he stared at Captain America's crotch forever. So I tweaked the points again, not giving points for squatting, but for attacks. Iron Man started to take over. For your viewing pleasure, I photoshopped hundreds of images with Iron Man and Captain America's head. It's all for you, so don't smash the like button too hard. I don't want you to hurt your fingers. Round 1. Fight!
Iron Man learns to effectively use spin kicks and uppercut to discourage Captain America from approaching. In the end, Iron Man kick names take ass. If you want to see AI Captain America fights AI Iron Man in the future, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one.